Ollie is very, very cheeky. Uh, he loves people and loves life, smiles constantly, delights in making other people smile as well. Um, he, yeah, he's just mischievous and get, just finds joy in life. Ollie was born under emergency caesarean section and um, in theatre he started having really bizarre breathing. He was taken away from us and taken straight to neonatal ITU. Ended up having to have surgery at 20 hours old, which was probably one of the most difficult times of my life. And he was on a ventilator for about 36 hours. But um, true to Ollie's form and determination, he actually managed to leave hospital within seven days. Uh, he left with strange breathing and difficulties breathing, but it wasn't affecting him, so we were allowed to leave. And we were told to just get on with life, basically, and um, we had follow-ups, but they thought he would outgrow the problems. We now know that that's part of Ollie's condition, Ollie's alternating hemiplegia of childhood, but nobody knew that at the time. Alternating hemiplegia of childhood means that any muscle in Ollie's body can become paralysed at any time. So obviously the, his arms and legs, but also the muscles that control his eyes. Um, he has had a fixed and dilated pupil, which normally freaks medical people out a lot. And at that point he still wasn't diagnosed, so that was an interesting hospital stay when Lissy was nine days old that was a fun one um, and it also affects his swallowing um, so that he's now on a feeding tube um, it affects his breathing his heart every single muscle Ollie's breathing difficulties happen at night time as well as during the day and we've had to not know every time we wake up whether he's going to be alive or not. We never um, fully rest because there's always part of you that's got half an ear open and any time he does sleep I'm in an absolute panic and I always send Adrian in because I can't face the idea that I have to walk in and he might not be alive. The heat is a major trigger for his episodes and he then um, in August stopped breathing and um, for 20 seconds and they are probably the longest 20 seconds you can ever live through um, and we obviously rushed him into the hospital and eventually they decided that it was a form of um, dystonia and muscle changes in the muscles that affect his breathing and effectively there's nothing that they can do for it, it's just part of his AHC. So he stops breathing and we don't know when it's going to happen and we have to pray that we're there and that we can intervene. Um, thankfully, I think he's got a stopwatch to, to be honest because he always starts breathing again at about 20 seconds, which is the point where we'd have to intervene. Um, yeah, I can imagine him there with his stopwatch saying, how long can I get mum to panic for? <laughs> so we knew that for the rest of our lives, we would never know where we were at from one minute to the next because there's no warning these episodes of weakness happen um, but to never know whether your child can stand or walk or when Ollie is going to stop breathing and how long he's going to stop breathing for um, effectively we don't know he could die tomorrow or he could die in 10 years time we have no idea and no way to know um, and obviously that's quite difficult to live with. Um, and we have to push it to the back of our minds and try and create that balance and have as much fun as we possibly can. I remember early in our journey as special needs parents, somebody saying to me that um, 
Ollie would teach me more than I could ever teach him and he would make me a better person and at the time I wanted to stamp my feet and say well no that's not the way it's supposed to work and I'm his mum and I want to teach him Um, but it's true he has made me so much he's made me such a better person than I was before and you know I wouldn't be without him as hard as it has been and so I I keep that that's how I get over it that's how we've come to terms with it obviously like everybody there are times where we stamp our feet and say this isn't fair we don't want to do this anymore but then I wouldn't change Ollie for the world and changing his diagnosis would change him I hadn't been to Naomi House before, um, but I was quite excited to see what it was going to be like. Um, a little bit anxious because we've never left Ollie with anybody other than family before. The first time that you stay, family have to stay as well. Um, and trying to know what I needed to pack and Uh, worrying about did I have all the right medication and did I have all the right feeds and enough of everything Um, and then walking in and just a sense of relief and a sense of fun and being able to walk away at tea time and um, knowing that the nurses would put Ollie to bed and Lissy being able to give her for probably the first time ever time just her and Adrian and I for Adrian and I, it's a chance to just be mum and dad. We don't get that, we don't have that time where we can not worry about medicines, not worry about needing to change him and all of the care side of things. And for somebody else to do that for us, as well as being able to sleep all night. When we go to Naomi House, we often spend time in the garden. Uh, They've got some amazing wheelchair bikes, so being able to be on a bike with Ollie is really, it's really special. Um, And he adores sitting on the roundabout and the swings. Uh, They absolutely love the sensory room. Um, Lissy spends most of her time in the arts and crafts room. Uh, There is a lot of mess involved normally. The other thing that probably really important is it's the only place that we can swim as a family Um, so the hydro pool is really important going to a public pool just isn't an option as a family but we can do that at Naomi House Um, pretty much every day we're there we go in the pool it's one thing that both Lissy and Ollie really really look forward to and probably the first thing Lissy does when I tell her it's time to get ready for Naomi House to put her swimming costume in her suitcase. The best thing about Naomi House, other than the amazing nurses and being there and not having to to worry and um, when you've got medical emergencies know that there's somewhere else to back you up, the cake's pretty good. (laughs) On our most recent stay, the uh, comms team left out some baby shark costumes and so I put the baby shark costume on and hid in the ball pool until they came in (laughs) and then jumped up and surprised them so much screaming ensued (laughs) oh yeah it's just a really fun place it's somewhere that we all get enjoyment from and it's a time to make memories and have fun together Making memories is really important to us as a family because it's being able to remember the good times and not have Ollie's diagnosis as something that clouds our memory. I don't want to be able to have to look back and only remember those things from Ollie's childhood and particularly the last few years and neither do I want Lissy to look back and not have fun memories. So having space where we can do crazy things like jumping in ball pits dressed as sharks um, is even more important. I'm incredibly proud of Ollie. He he just lights up a room when he's in it. And um, I know he's brought so much joy to so many people. I wouldn't, I really wouldn't change him for the world.